as you see him lining up behind the gate for our first live race of the night. It's a prep race for next week's Breeders' Crown Mare Pace upstairs to track announcer John Bothy. All right, Gary, well, that's a great story there with Shania, certainly the owner there. Interesting chance. Bird, we'll see how he does here. Certainly a new face to the field of open mares here in this fifth race. Here they come. And they're off. It's Shania for the lead up on the outside. Jules, Joe Dwayne. Off stride goes Western Azure. Western Azure is off stride. Down the first turn. And it's Dragon Sow to the front by a length and a half. This Kitty Hanover a second. With Shania the outside third. Manzi has found a spot for Jules, Joe Dwayne in fourth. Then it's another three to Infusion. Two more, one at five pan, another two to keep your pans off, and can be white stocking. Opening quarter, 27 and two. And now here comes Jules, Joe Dwayne, and Manzi to gun for the lead. Dragon so second. This Kitty Hanover in third, and it's Shania in fourth by two and a half. The infusion fifth. Another two to one at five pan, then two more to keep your pans off, and Cammy white stocking. Divide the half, and Jules, Joe Dwayne, and Manzi with a length lead. Dragon So sits second. Half 55 and four. Manzi able to slow things down. Jules, Joe Dwayne by a length and a half. Dragon So second by two, and Miss Kinney out of a third. To the outside, Shania. She's been out there every step of the way. Then it's another two to Infusion. The inside, keep your pans off, we'll need some room, and one if by pan. But as they approach three quarters, Jules Joe Dwayne with a burst of speed has opened up three. Dragon So trying to stay with her second. Three quarters and one, 24 and two, and they're in the stretch. And it's Jules Joe Dwayne. There by two. Dragon So second on the outside. Shania trying to get more. And O'Donnell on the outside with infusion. Trying to finish here. It's Dragon So. Shania between horses as they hit the wire. Shania getting up to take it in 151 and 2. What a performance that was by Shania. She never ever saw the inside, but she was still piecing hard at the end for a very impressive performance. Well, Shania gets the job done, and as John Bogey pointed out, a big mile from this four-year-old daughter of Log. Not that Chance Bird needs the money, Ken, but she comes home a winner in the $30,000 prep race for next week's Breeders' Crown Open Mare. Pace driven victory here by Timothy Curtin, a 40-year-old Illinois native. And well, here we see Dragon So coming through between horses. She got a perfect trip, but the toughest trip of all was the five Shania, and Tim Curtin gets her to the wire first. That was Infusion, the other uh, shipper, coming close but not getting there. So Shania and Timothy Curtin win our first race of the night, but there's a whole lot more to get. Shania, four-year-old daughter of Log, owned by Chanceburg Ranch of Fairfield, Illinois, trained by Tex Motes and driven a victory by Timothy Curtin, who is standing by with Ken Warkinson. Thanks very much, Gary. Illinois native Tim Curtin, first drive here, a victory. How about it? Yeah, that's great. Good stuff. Well, tell us what you were thinking of coming into the race. Did you think she was good enough for these mares down here, shipping down here? Yeah, I thought she was good enough. I just wanted to give her a little bit better trip than she got. I was wanting to take her off the gate, but she got pretty rank again tonight, so we ended up... Uh, leaving a little bit and then ended up first up with her. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, top of the stretch here. Uh, actually, just on the final turn, you're going to pull, and uh, right there at this point, on the turn, it looked like she was struggling a bit, not gaining all that much. Yeah, she was, and then uh, as soon as she got out of that turn, then uh, she caught another gear, and she got home. Battle of the log mares here. Jules Joe Duane on the lead. What are you thinking here? You're coming home in 27 seconds. I didn't know if we were going to reach or not, but she just kept digging, and you got there. Did you think of any of the other horses on the outside there? Uh, the four infusion was coming on as well. Yeah, he was coming a little bit, but I didn't think uh, he'd get by her. All right, well, he didn't. Great job, Tim Curtin, Illinois native here with Shania. I'm sure he's a big country and western fan, Gary.